Hey, everybody, welcome to What the Flight, the people versus OJ Simpson. Grace Baldridge, thank you for coming. Thank That's you fantastic. so much for having me. That's really, this is good. This is good. You always say smart things. So oh, God. You can say smart things. <laughs> no, pressure. no pressure. Yeah. Same, same tables. Go. Uh, so, uh, what's this episode called? Uh, Alonzo Raleigh, Ben Mankel. Uh, conspiracy Theories. Conspiracy Theories. So, mm -hmm. uh, a nice moment there because you get uh, Robert Kardashian. You know, he's like the. He's like, ah. I, so yes. Who, who did, did it, it then? Yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, you know he's obviously not buying it, but that was a good scene with uh, mm -hmm. with uh, Theo. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> um, uh, as uh, as Alec Gordon Cowley's. Gartrell, if right. you will. Uh, I, uh, I, you know, I did not remember there being this much of a backstory to the gloves, and I thought the gloves happened later in the trial. But uh, you know, well, again, I think it is. They've moved along. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're, we're, we, the gloves did happen later in the trial, but not okay. at the end. Mm -hmm. And I guess they happened during the. Well, they obviously happened during the prosecution's case. I don't know. I, I usually check to see. Um, you know what's true and what's not, but there's no reason to massively mess with this. So right. we know Darden did it m mostly on his own. Right. I don't know how much he was provoked into it. I don't know whether Shapiro. What I don't know is whether that was Shapiro's moment. It's crazy that like they they put the latex gloves on under the gloves, but Shapiro's like mm -hmm. he, like yeah. during the break. Yeah, I couldn't believe that yeah. no one would have noticed that, that he's he manhandling the evidence. They're just like, oh, what do we think, uh, guys? <laughs> But, but they set it up a little bit with him saying to the guard, you know, like, hey, Max, and the guard's like, hey, Bob, like, like they're all at ease with everybody. In, yeah. So, right. I mean, nobody, if Shapiro walks up to the witness stand, they're like, so, it's, it's, Bob, Bob, it's Bob. Bob. It's Bob. Bob's and, and, always going up to the witness stand and messing with evidence. And now, my recollection of this, and this could have been just sort of like, post-trial revisionism, mm -hmm. I, I had heard the explanation for the gloves not fitting was that, A, they were like, you know, bloody and crusty, and and you know had been sitting in, in, stiff for months, mm -hmm. and then also that that when OJ put the rubber gloves on, he sort of put them on like to here, right. you know, basically that was. Yeah. Like, eh. But this this does not portray it that way. But I don't remember if that was the case or but, not. You know, like I mean, gloves. With the, first of all, they weren't. You know, I mean, look, they had blood on them. They weren't soaked in blood. They weren't yeah. dipped in yeah. cow's blood. I mean, they had some blood on them. Um, yeah. And you know, I mean, and because the killer wore them, and they were OJ's gloves. Um, but but so, but I, that said, if I'd been on the jury, that would have been troubling. I mean, sure. they don't fit. And if this is true, and I, I hate, hate you know, did, did did the Soviet papers really identify Oswald? You know, <laughs> so, you know, did I, uh, so like, you, when you don't know, it, it it's frustrating because if they didn't fit. Uh, you maybe, must have quit, apparently. Maybe, maybe you do have to <laughs> quit. Um, I but, think I think they could have won this case if Marsha Clark had had the shot glasses in the courtroom. I 100% <laughs> agree. Yeah, yeah. When she was laying that out in the bar scene, I was like, please make that just be the only thing she does in the courtroom the next day, which obviously it was <laughs> yeah. not. that was not meant to be. But th the way that she laid that out was the first time as a viewer and as someone who doesn't remember the OJ trial when it happened, um, as being like, oh, how did they lose this? Oh my God. <laughs> it's just, it's totally rock solid. And um, I read a really interesting interview with Marsha Clark in, I believe it was Vulture. Yeah. I and they, yeah, and they asked her, you know, what are they getting right? What are they getting wrong? And she basically said, you know, the big things, they're getting right. 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 They're speeding things along for uh, thematic elements. And I respect that. You know, the gloves came in yeah. earlier than they had, than they did in the real trial. But it's making for compelling television. But it's good to know that. The, the core, the essence of the trial, yeah, as someone who doesn't remember it, is being represented. The only, she, only thing she said they missed, which I've said before, is she's like, we weren't blindsided by race. Like, we, right. we, we, that, that we, we, weren't, we weren't dumb on it. Like, mm -hmm. we knew that was coming. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, she, she, and she, she says it's, it, it's pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. what, what they got wrong, among other things, they kept themselves to a timeline, yeah. which was easily shaken a little, which was easily reasonably doubted. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and they missed the theatrics. They're, they're right that that Darden, the Darden character at least, is right in saying, you know, she is, and you can hear her say it. We got the evidence. We have this, those, the that uh, with the theatrics. The yeah. And Darden was like, ah, theatrics kind of Help. they're working, <laughs> yeah. and just the pure length that 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 was not their fault, but Ito's fault for right. letting it go eight months. You see, in a, 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 a you know maybe it's next week, a the juror saying, peak, yeah. you know, you said uh, two months, two months, <laughs> and now it's it's been eight months. So eventually, when it's eight months. And, and, you know, early DNA testimony that bored them to death. And mm -hmm. then they didn't challenge it so much as they were like, uh, that you know, it was mishandled. Right. And that er, at an early stage of DNA for, 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 uh, for regular people, mm -hmm. uh, that landed. And, like, 
it reminded me a little of the election. I mean, it was 20 years ago, but like, whereas pundits describing this election still talk, and I do it too, still talk about like, well, back in 88, this did, like, it's a different era. Yeah. And Marsha Clark was beholden to another era that she probably couldn't have seen changing. You shouldn't even criticize her for mm -hmm. it. But when she says, you know, uh, the Faye Resnick sold her story. Faye Resnick was an extreme example, but the woman who on the street, like, right, right, like the once they've gone tabloid, we can't put them on the stand. Nobody cares about that much anymore. They can just answer the question. Yeah, yeah I told my true story, and somebody paid me ten thousand dollars for right. it. So, but so but, it's still but, true. but I think we know that because of this trial. Totally. So that's why I'm not really blaming it her. It changed but like, the whole game. Like totally, things yeah. things were changing, and they were not. They were, no. so 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 that gets to the shot glasses. Like they left a bunch of stuff. They left out the fleeing. Yeah. yeah. You know, all kinds of things they left. You out. know, a question that I have for you guys is um, the moment in this past episode where we see Chris go get the gloves and we know what's about to happen. How did that make you feel? Did you guys, I, I don't know, did you watch the trial live? Like, how did that make you feel watching it in this, were you watching it? Happen, I you did. know it's gonna happen, and he doesn't know. It's he really acts it, I think, very well. He's great. Man. Oh yeah, it, Sterling, to me, Sterling just Sterling K. I, Brown. Yeah, I could not. Th that just ate me alive. Oh, just that episode, that moment in the episode where they're in the office and they find the receipts for the gloves, and they're so convinced oh, that God. we got this out. You're like, oh no, <laughs> this is not going to end well. The number of times they say things like it's a slam dunk, <laughs> they couldn't lose. I'm like, that's yeah. what they said about the Titanic. Mm. But you see it start to unwind here. They they start mm -hmm. to get it even before the gloves. That they, that things are landing, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah. uh, and uh, just another great performance from Sarah Paulson. I mean, Sterling K. Brown too, yeah. and Courtney yeah. B. Vance are, are, and oh, and the Shapiro arc in this episode, no, I Shapiro think, is fascinating. Arc. Totally, they, yep. where he suddenly realized, oh shit, there's gonna be another riot, and it's gonna be my fault, and like I love the cops, the and pin, you know, the lapel pin, uh, and all that stuff. Is yeah, so angry at the lapel pin. But then, as you see with these guys, like as soon as Shapiro, if that's true, I mean, as soon as he comes out with the gloves, Johnny's like, all. All forgiven, buddy. We're back. And, and it's that weird, nice moment. Like they give each other five out of the table. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. Wait, no. no. Wait, what like, am I no. cheering for? <laughs> yeah. No. I, I don't know what to. I don't know. You what, know. Yeah. And the funny thing is that you know, again, before the murders happened, like OJ was no less a friend to the LAPD than anybody else. No, that's was, what's the most. Know. The, the yeah. rapidity with which they would have had to make the decision to frame him is why that story is it's inconceivable. Mm -hmm. Of course. I mean, would, uh, would do we know that the LAPD or Police departments across the country are capable of framing black guys for crimes they didn't commit. Unquestionably, mm -hmm. not OJ. Yeah, with as they with, yeah. and they picked him and not like uh, and, you know uh, somebody from NWA. Come on, right, right. And, and in that moment when like she, I mean, the, one of uh, Paulson makes the point as Marsha Clark, like so they made this decision right then when OJ could have been in Hawaii, <laughs> like like you're, which would have made the whole thing, the right, the whole thing maybe, maybe alibi, had an actual yeah. alibi, I mean, because you know, as I've said the story before, not with you here, Grace, but like, you know, I'm a huge sports fan and OJ mm -hmm. mattered to me. I wasn't like a particular OJ Simpson fan, but I love the Naked Gun movies and mm -hmm. I, you know, he was OJ, he was the, like Muhammad Ali, he was like the mm -hmm. second most famous athlete on the planet, mm -hmm. ever. Um, and. I worked in journalism, and I saw on my little whatever teletype there, on uh, 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 Nicole Brown Simpson, O.J. Simpson's ex-wife, murdered, and I knew he'd beat her up. And I thought, oh my God, O.J. Simpson killed his wife. And then, 35 minutes later, O.J. Simpson in Chicago at the time of the killings, and I was like, oh, thank God, Fine, he didn't yeah. do it. He didn't do it. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased. So the possibility of an alibi was at that point. You know, incredibly You're real, right. and so yeah. it's, it's inconceivable that they would have done that. And I think they're doing a good job on the show of, um, or at least in this past episode, of laying out why, you know, without actually taking a, a, a huge bias, I don't feel, they're showing why it's ridiculous that the LAPD would conspire to frame O.J. Simpson. Yeah, right. I thought they yeah. did that in a really good, clean yeah, way. Totally, yeah, yeah. And, and it's, inter it's interesting how the relationship between Clark and Darden plays out. I was because ask about that, it, yeah. It's so much that sort of thing where, there's that story in my dinner with Andre where he he, he has this group of, of, of actors and they're like out in the forest and they do this thing where like the, the, they're, it's an exercise where they're all on a plane that's about to crash. Mm -hmm. And apparently for like one couple, it became so real and vivid that they wound up like they they paired off and wound up getting married, you know. And there's that thing of people who are in a crisis situation yeah. together; these bonds form that may or may not survive in the real world. But when you're the when 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 you're the only people who know what the other one is going mm -hmm. through, that you know that that forms this. Yeah, I think that's this why. Thing, I think that's know? why actors and actresses get together. So totally, yeah. And, yeah, and you know, unbelievable and handsomeness. And they're beautiful. Well, yeah, so but especially hard. like on location. Yeah, you know? like, but I mean a stressful shoot, and I got it. That's not the same as the OJ trial, but that in that yeah. world, 
it's stressful and it's an intense situation. You yeah. might be working for some tyrannical director and you're together and mm -hmm. you're you look like you look. You yeah. Know? yeah, DiCaprio uh, and that bear had like a six month yeah, affair. Yeah. It was very intimate. Um, but lastly, we got to go. But that the the Oakland's first of all, I think they they have they had a romance. That's my understanding. So I guess we'll get to it. Right? She she hasn't commented on it, and she said that uh, professionally she chooses not to just out of respect for him and out of respect for her whoever right. she's with now right. that they won't comment on it. But it seems like no comment is 100% <laughs> on that they I thought did it was known that they yeah had some sort of yeah, romance. They that's what I thought like, as if, well. If the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt is to be believed, then yes. <laughs> well, that's right. But, you know. <laughs> uh, but they so anyway, it didn't happen here even though it should have. It should have. Uh, he blew it. Chris, Come on, Chris. Chris, you blew it. And that Wait, scene is, isn't 311 a code for a murder? Is that what the joke was no, for her room being I think 311? It's 187, I think. But some, 311 I, is I think something. something yeah. It's something. It means something. Yeah. I think you're, yeah, right. you're right. The way they said it, you're right. It <laughs> must. Um, but uh, that Oakland scene with his friends and her in the bar, that was a really good scene. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you've been so rooting. And that scene, just that way, one line from Gil Garcetti. Uh, I mean, by the way, it's funny that his son is the mayor. Um, and uh, <laughs> But the, uh, you know, when he says, I like the hair, and she's like, we're done with the hair. Can we never talk about my hair ever, again? Ever. And, he, and I like, he's like, got it. <laughs> yeah. Heard um, and understood. So uh, uh, good stuff, I thought. But I really like that Oakland scene. Mm -hmm. And you're happy for her. You're like, oh, she's enjoying herself. Yeah, they're yeah. they're bringing us up, I think, to just totally crush us down. And mm -hmm. I, I secretly love that. Yeah, no, it's good, uh, yeah, it's good TV. It's good. Yeah. All right, uh, thanks for Grace. Thank you. Uh, come back. Thank you so much uh, for having week. me. Come back anytime. Thanks. Uh, People versus O.J. Simpson. See you next week.